Right, Steve, let me ask, are we in a guard-centric league right now? I think we are, Kevin. I mean, obviously it was more balanced back in the day, guards and bigs. But with the three-point shot, it has really made this a guard league. I'm checking out Utah's opening lineup. I'm down to the job there with O'Neal. Then it's Mitchell, then it's Joe Ingles, and it's Gobert in at the center position. Shot clock at six. There's Levine. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. There's that beautiful high arcing shot. Levine looks for it the moment he touches the ball. And Gobert kicks to Ingles. The Jazz working the ball around now. Mitchell against Ball, and the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. Pass to O'Neal. Screen by O'Neal. Six on the shot clock, and it's Mitchell missing. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Vucevic to the pass to DeRozan. Back to Levine. Outside, ball. To the inside. Stolen by O'Neal. Mitchell outside. On the wing, Ingles. Jacks up a three. Buries the long-range jumper. This is how Ingles went from being undrafted to big money. He does a lot of things for you, but stretching the floor is number one. Levine gets the bucket. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now, here's Mitchell. Castro O'Neal takes a three, and the Jazz another three. And we think of Donovan primarily as a score first. But there, fantastic pass. Mitchell against Ball. And there's the pass to Levine. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Levine's got eight points. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. And that one's good, Mitchell. And that was a little payback for what happened on the other end. Mitchell showing the range. Well, he wasn't a burger chain All-American or a one-and-done college star, but Donovan Mitchell's rapid emergence in the NBA has caught many by surprise. You know, G.A., the first rookie ever to lead a playoff team in scoring. He was handed the keys right away, but he's not satisfied. He still wants more. Mitchell wide open. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Ball kicks to Johnson. The kick out to Ball. Pocket six. Another one falls for Chicago. Love when Lonzo looks to shoot from the mid-range. The assertiveness is good to see. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Well, a bit ago, Billy Donovan and I were able to talk one of their big challenges tonight is to try and keep Donovan Mitchell's high wire act on the ground. Coach said if he gets a step at the rim, he's going to throw it down on us. We need to take away space whenever he tests the perimeter. It's going to take a team effort to slow Donovan down tonight. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Kevin, you tend to forget this about Levine. I mean, he's still so young. You feel like he's been in the league forever. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off and insists. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. And keep an eye on the three-point shooting because that has been a factor as well. If they can maintain that current form, they can be successful. 
No question, Zach Levine has one of the more creative scoring minds in the league. I mean, just check out the multiple dunk contests he's won. And so Levine nails both of them. You know, Greg, I was just thinking about Zach Levine and his age. He's just now in his mid to late 20s. And he's grown so much since that rookie year. Excited to see what numbers he can put up as he gets ready to enter into his prime. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. DeRozan scanning the floor. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. The Jazz making a switch here. Clarkson's checked in. Here's Ball. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's foul number two for him. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. The Jazz making a switch here. Forrest is checked in. So it's Chicago now. Six-point lead. Levine gets the bucket. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Now, here's Ingles. Wants it on the wing. The Jazz with another miss. DeRozan against Ingles. Offensive rebound. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And that free throw good from DeRozan. Well, Smitty, opening day is upon us. You excited for the new season? I am, Kevin. First of all, you love seeing the new rookie class, how they fit in. Second, a lot of these teams with a lot of trades and moving parts and some of these franchises that have acquired new coaches. the break in the action we've got a chance now to look at last year's top rebounders Rudy Gobert is second and of course Nikola Vucevic but these guys are always around the hoop always with a nose for the ball a dominant season inside for both Jazz trail by 11 Passes it to Ingles. Here's Forrest. Shot to stop the run. Ingles passes to Clarkson. Back to Ingles. 
Five to shoot. Over Johnson. The Jazz with another miss. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Ball surveying the defense. Levine wide open. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. Forrest passes to Gobert. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's foul number two for him. Alex Caruso is checked in for the Bulls. Here's Forrest. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. No clue how he got that one to fall. The Jazz shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. Bulls making a switch here. Bradley's checked in. Mind the lane. The switcher also Mind the for lane. Utah. Pascal's checked in. Chicago leading by 11. Caruso kicks to Levine. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And while we have a moment, let's check the stats for DeRozan. Last season, he played outstanding. Last season, put up about 21 points a game. Seven assists and four rebounds. Just a fantastic score off the bench. Always a factor in every game he plays. What I love is he heats up quick because when you're on the second unit, you have no time to mess around. Pass to Clarkson. There's the triple. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Outside, Levine. Shoots over Clarkson. Here's Vucevic, and Vucevic throws it down. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense with the opening tip. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Steve, a second rounder back in the 2014 draft out of Missouri. Jordan Clarkson with a productive NBA career. Yes, Kevin, and he's always been a bucket. What has changed is the shot selection. A lot more threes and terrific free throw shooting. Take a break. Making Take him a, break. a great bench weapon. Two shots. He throw good. Clarkson. And we all value a dose of humility from time to time. Even, you know, Steve from the start. But what do you think is the right balance between bravado and modesty? You know, I think you always got to have uh, character and respect. I think that's where it comes from. But in during competition, as long as you're not crossing the line, I think it's okay. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Green comes in for Nikola Butcher. And it's Brown in for Zach Levine. And, and you know, Clarkson entering the league as a second-round pick. A, a little unsung for most of his career, but always seems to find a way to contribute. Jazz trail by nine. Pass to Forrest. Right side of screen. And Forrest gets it to go. Forrest has got his second bucket tonight. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Bradley is screen on Clarkson. Here's Brown. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Jazz have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. Two points, that one goes. And now it's only a five-point Chicago lead. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. It's Brown on the wing. He's covered by Clarkson. Nice move. Utah with the rebound. This is their first chance to take a look at the Bulls this season. Yeah, and they swept this matchup the two times they played last year. They held the advantage on paper and on the court. But hey, it's a different season, and anything 
can happen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And what you love about Pascal, he goes right at defenders in the paint. You know, G.A., Eric is a bit undersized, but plays without fear. His height is just a number to him. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Chicago making a switch here. Dosumu's checked in. Butler, he's checked in for Utah. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Bulls leading by three. On the wing, Green. Brown against Butler. Brown dishes to DeRozan. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Great body control. White side finishing through contact and gets the and one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Utah. They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. That one misses for Whiteside. Whiteside has to keep working on his free-throw shooting. Teams have no problem putting him at the line. Bradley is screen on Butler. Brown. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And once you get the height advantage from there, no need to mess around. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Free throw good from Bradley. Jazz trail by four. Forrest passes to Clarkson. And the basket by Pascal. Still's got six points. Boy, both teams racking up the points to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. The pass to Forrest. Back to Clarkson. They set the pick. Outside Butler. Fires the three. That shot missing. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Now here's Dosumu. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. He dishes it to Green. Bradley is screen on Clarkson. Here's Green, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Lynch. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort, and he brings the energy. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Jazz trail by five. 157 left in the first quarter of the game. And Butler, here we go. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here's DeRozan, his last outing with 20 points. 
125 left in the first quarter. Green, the pass to Brandon. And that one is stuffed right through. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little bit. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Here's Forrest. Haskell is screen. Six to shoot. Puts up a three. He can't get that one to fall. Nice beat from DeRozan. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Green finds DeRozan. It's Brown on the wing. Chicago needs to get off a shot here, and Bradley gets it to go. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. 23 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Butler. Great D that time from Green. Last outing for the Bulls, it was a loss to New York. And here is Dosumu. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pulls up on the wing, and no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Pulls out front, up by seven. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. And such a great story. Royce O'Neal, undrafted out of Baylor, played all over Europe before catching on with the Utah Jazz as a hard-nosed defender. Thinking back from when I started, you know, overseas, summer camps, mini camps, to where I am now, you know, just an honor to be in the position that I am. I'm grateful for the opportunity. So, you know, I can tell my story to the younger kids, just the journey, never give up. And O'Neal starting in Utah the last few seasons and Greg earning a long-term deal. Yeah, a quality 3 and D guy. Like he said, he never gave up and even now continues to play with that same hunger. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So on the floor for Utah. One of the Mitchell is out there Jordan Clarkson. And it's Rudy Gobert. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's O'Neal in a quick spot. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Utah Jazz last season was elite at both ends of the floor. Sixth man of the year winner Jordan Clarkson says, three things we've been doing well are playing fast, sharing the basketball, and defense. We're playing a fun style of basketball and just keep racking up the wins. Guys? Yeah. They are fun to watch, and a handful. D.A., thanks. The first one falls for him. And DeRozan, a free agent this past offseason, took his time to find the right fit in terms of who he would sign with, ultimately choosing Chicago in a big victory for the Bulls. Both shots good from the strike. And Greg, you made your money on the defensive end. What was the toughest kind of player to defend? A one-on-one -on -one guy or a, or a constant movement type of player? I've always will say that it's harder to guard movement. You know, as a defender, you're, you, you drill a lot about guarding the basketball. But when a guy is great without it, man, that is the hardest job you can have defensively. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Nice ball movement by Utah. Here's Gobert, banked in off the glass. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I, I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Now, here's Vucevic. 
His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. And DeRozan. Here we go. Kuchovic with the bucket. That's good awareness from DeRozan. Spots the open man. That speaks to his all-around game. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Passes it to Clarkson. Gobert with a screen on Levine. Here's Clarkson. And Utah again with the bucket. And that kick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here's Ball. Here's Caruso. Off target from outside. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Clarkson with a terrific move and the bucket. And now, just a three-point Chicago lead. Here's Caruso, covered by Mitchell. Over to the left wing. Ball from long range. It's Gobert with the ball for Utah. Clarkson kicks to Mitchell. Gobert with a screen on ball. Clarkson outside. They get it back. Gobert. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touched it last. All right, a chance to check out some stats for Ball. Last year, getting it done. Put up about 14 points per, five assists and four rebounds. And most of all, you have to love the defensive grit he brings to games when he comes off the bench. Absolutely. Just when you think you've got a good flow going as a score, he'll come and shut your water off. Basket good. Vucevic has got his third bucket of the night. Instinctual pass by Zach Levine doesn't hesitate to feed the wide open man. Mitchell passes to Gobert. Back to Mitchell. That's good. A tough shooting night. He's two for eight and looking for more. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Vucevic up top. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Vucevic has got six in the quarter. Always a battle when you're up against Vucevic. His soft touch helps him convert inside. Ingles passes to O'Neal. The dish to Bogdanovich. Mitchell kicks to O'Neal. Johnson against Bogdanovich. Over Johnson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the 6'8", Boyan Bogdanovich consistently among the league's top three-point marksmen. You're right, Kevin. Consistent is the right word. Listen to this. Since his fourth season in the NBA, he's never averaged below 38% from distance. That Shooting shot two. must be honored. free throw missing. Well, he started out as a pure shooter. Bondanovich has worked hard to become a threat off the bounce and a strong finisher. Good on the second free throw. The Bulls leading by four. Now ball. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Now, here's Mitchell. Defense right on him. Kicks it to Gobert. Pass to Bogdanovich. Shot clock at six. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Good! Ingles has got five. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Pass to Levine. From outside the arc... Here's Vucevic, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. And you know, in a seven-footer that can play the entire court, Vucevic is a tough cover because of that versatility. Two 
and he can't get the first one. And one of the most underrated bigs in the NBA, Vucevic quietly dominates on a consistent basis. And he's good on the second. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's time modern out, offensive out. schemes. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. And in front of you now is a list of the players with the highest shooting percentage last season. Rudy Gobert, number one. He didn't miss many easy chances last year, and he made the most of the tough ones as well. What a fantastic percentage. Here's Gobert. His last outing, 16 points for him. The Jazz working the ball around now. The pass to Ingles. Mitchell outside. Five on the clock. The rebound by Johnson. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. Inside, here's Vucevic. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Mitchell sets the screen for Bogdanovich. Passes it to Ingles. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Ingles has got eight points. You see the practice time Ingles has put in. Completely in rhythm. No problem with that shot. Caruso, the pass to Levine. Right side, ball. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Feeds to Mitchell. Ingles against ball. Has to go bare. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Gobert's got four points in the quarter. Inside, Gobert is a nightmare with his height. It's tough to create good coverage. Outside, Levine. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Bradley's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Johnson. And Troy Brown subbed in for Zach Levine. Utah also making some changes. Whiteside's checked in for Gobert. Eric Pasco comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Butler in for O'Neal. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got five. Back to Whiteside. And there's the foul. Here we go on Alex Caruso. 
That's his third foul of the game. Pass to Whiteside. He kicks to Ingles. Six on the shot clock. Pascal with a screen on ball. From the Bengals. When we talk about Lonzo's feel for the game, it's at both ends. Excellent defense there. Robbed up there for Green. Oh, can we get a load of that one? Take that play and put it in the alley oop textbook, boy. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. The feed to Mitchell. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Mitchell's got four this quarter. Already with a bullseye on his back, Donovan Mitchell reacts to the defense, and he scores. Outside, ball to the paint. Here's Bradley. Now the pass to Caruso. Ingles against Brown. Over Ingles. And it's Brown missing. Utah has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Butler kicks to Whiteside. Butler passes to Whiteside. Back to Butler. Ingles against Ball. For three. Ingles can't get it to go. And so Green will bring it up for Chicago. They've led by as many as 14 points. Caruso, the pass to ball. No good with the triple. And a bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. The shot's good from Pascal. Pascal's got eight points. Chicago trailing here. Caruso looking for an opening. That one's in, his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. I love how he's willing to sacrifice his body in there, giving maximum effort. That's what it takes on the defensive boards. Butler against Ball. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Bulls lead by two. I love how hard Lonzo Ball plays. It's what's allowed him to overwhelm the defense right there. Butler dishes to Ingles. 141 left in the first half of the game. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Outside, Ball. Over Ingle. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. Drills the three-pointer. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight. Making shot after shot. Here's Caruso. Outside ball. Bradley sets the pit for ball. To the middle. And Whiteside sends it back. Whiteside gives enough space, waits, elevates, quality block shot by the big fella. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And one thing about Donovan Mitchell, Steve, he is always learning, always evolving. Yes, he is, Kevin. Devours film seeks advice from other star players and he's Shoot not two. afraid to get out of his comfort zone he has ambition for greatness first free throw is good you know donovan mitchell really went off back in the 2020 playoff bubble watching those games it was obvious that he's got a ton of potential left to grow into DeMar DeRozan. He's checked in for Chicago. Dosumu comes in for Alex Caruso. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. He's living there tonight. A tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Down kicks to ball. 
27 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's DeRozan. Rebounded by the Jazz. The drive by Clarkson. And it's blocked by Brown. And it's ball in the corner. Stolen by Mitchell. With one on the clock. And no good that time. And so it's Joe Ingles making things happen for Utah. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. We'll return shortly. Welcome. First up, let's look at the two guys who are each leading their respective teams through the first half. You've both experienced being the top two players on your respective teams. That's generous. Oh, you're saying that Kobe and Big Shot Rob are better than you, right? No, I was talking about you, Kitty. <laughs> Shifting focus now to the Utah Jazz, who are in one heck of a close game. Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball, and that means playing with poise, making good decisions, and not giving away any possessions. They did a great job of that in the first half. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Johnson is out there with DeRozan. And it's Vucevic in at the center, filling out the middle. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. We've seen steady improvement in Mitchell's three-point shot. He's a legit threat from deep. And Levine, here we go. And that one drops. Levine's got 20. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. For three, Mitchell. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Pass to DeRozan. Ball kicks to Levine. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his sixth assist on the night. Oh, yeah, it's going to be payback. Levine matching threes and making plays. Now, here's Ingles. He's got 11. And here's Mitchell from the arc. The rebound by Johnson. Bulls trail by four. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, the league remains in love with three-pointers, but DeMar DeRozan remains true to his game. He says, if I see 100 people walking left, that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same. I see this clear path and want to stay right. Shooting threes, I feel like I'm settling. Whereas I think anytime I drive, I'm going to score or get fouled. Kevin, different strokes, different folks. Yeah, but DA, I love that strategy. Thanks for that story. Just four to shoot. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Two minutes into the second half of play now. DeRozan with it. Now defended by Gobert. One of the most impactful defenders in the game. Gobert's long arms put fear in the hearts of shooters. Ingles kicks to Gobert. Pass to Mitchell. Gobert with a screen on Johnson. Shot clock at five. And Gobert with the basket on the assist by Mitchell. And it's an eight-point Jazz lead. Well, you know Donovan Mitchell is a two-guard, but he can play a little bit of one. 
He also can create shots for others. Here's Vucevic and slam dunk by Vucevic. Beautiful Woo! reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Ingles passes to Gobert. Ingles against Levine. Pass to Mitchell. Let's it go with a three. Chicago grabs the miss. Johnson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Ball kicks to Johnson. Here's Vucevic. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovic. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. So he gets them both. Utah leading by four. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Pat Donovich wide open. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got his fifth assist in this one. There's the pass to Levine. Hands it from downtown. Levine's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Bulls. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for ball. And Utah also making a switch. Butler's checked in. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Mitchell outside. Outside Bogdanovich. Passes to Butler. The three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. DeRozan. That one, no good. And it's Utah the other way. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Mitchell finds Bogdanovich. Butler with the ball. Lock at six. Gobert with a screen on Levine. Here's Butler. Gobert trying to get open. And that one's good by Butler. Butler's got his second basket. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. And you know what? There was probably a better matchup on the floor, but when it goes in, nobody complains. Now, here's DeRozan. Five points in the game. 
pass to Caruso. Offline with his three. Utah leading by six. Here's Mitchell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. A moment here to look at the numbers for Rudy Gobert. Great showing for him last season. Last year averaged 14 points per game, 13 rebounds, and over two and a half blocks. And for a reserve big man, not a big drop-off when he checks in the game. Totally. You want your team to at least hold court when the reserves come in. He definitely keeps you solid up front. And the first one drops. Lonzo Ball is checked in for Chicago. And so he makes both from the line. Bulls trail by eight. This is to Vucevic. Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. Levine feeling it out a bit. Down low. It's deflected. It's stolen by Gobert. Here's Butler. The Jazz again can't hit it. And here's Levine who brings it up for Chicago. Kicks it out to Johnson. Pass to Levine. That's in. Coming off the assist from Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And, and Smitty, and nobody's accused Levine of being a stellar defender. But the young man has improved in that area the last few seasons. Greg, he's always had the physical tools to be a good defender. It's been his awareness that's kind of held him back. But his weak side rotation and his D has gotten a lot better. And checking out some stats for Levine. He's coming off an excellent season. Seventh in scoring. And he was also extremely dependable behind the three-point line. Finishing the season among the top 20 in three-point percentage. And back to his points per game average last year. He literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed it. Side Butler on the pass to Gobert. Back to Butler. Passes it to Mitchell, and the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's his third foul of the game. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Mitchell. Gobert finds Clarkson. Jazz passing it around. O'Neal is screen on Levine. Here's Butler. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from DeRozan. Pass the ball. O'Neal against Levine. Back the ball. Pass to Johnson. 
to the paint. Just five to shoot. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Jazz leading by five. Here's Clarkson. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Clarkson's got 12 in the game. Ball against Butler. Outside Levine. Over Gobert. And it comes off the front of the rim. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Levine against Butler. Gobert dishes to Butler. The pass to Clarkson. Takes the three. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Levine passes to Johnson. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Johnson's got his first points of the night. I mean, he's hard to stop once he gets to the rim. That's a beautiful play. Outside, Bogdanovich launches it. It's all in by the Bulls. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Ball against O'Neal. Outside, Levine. And that one, good. Now it's just a three-point Utah lead. It's amazing. No one can check him right now, but there's still work to do to cut into this lead. Passes it to Clarkson. And Gobert kicks to Buck. Gobert with a screen for Buck. Gets the bucket and the... They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Utah Jams? They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. Yeah, but I also like the balance because they're doing a great job of getting inside and converting around the rim. I, I really like their aggressive. The free throw drops for Butler. Here's Ball. He dishes it to Vucevic. To the left wing. Picked by Vucevic. Goes Hunu. The pass to Vucevic. Over White side. And White side sends it back. And it's in there. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Clarkson with the ball. Picked up by Brown. Pascal with a screen on Brown. Clarkson plays it up and banks it in. Clarkson's got four points now in the quarter. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Bobbed up there for Green. Plays it in off a pretty alley-oop. The floor awareness of ball excels at getting the ball to his uncovered teammate. Butler passes to Clarkson. Butler on the way. He's covered by ball. Right side sets the pick for Butler. Count that one. Butler's got nine. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Vucevic a screen on Pascal. Here's Green. And Pascal pulls it down. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Here's Butler. And Ball with the block. When you mix Ball's length with his timing, the result is a quality defensive play. Green missing again. And so Clarkson will bring it up for the Utah Jams. Six-point game. And slam dunk by Pascal. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And Whiteside sends it back. And they're pushing it up. Pass to Pascal. It's stolen by Green. 
pass to Joe Sumu. Now Vucevic over Butler. And with that, the Utah lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Vucevic. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Here's Forrest, and Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Some changes for Chicago. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Green. Bean comes in for Troy Brown. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dosumu. And a switcher also for Utah. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Butler. Fifty-nine seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Pascal. Nice D from DeRozan. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard says. From downtown, another three for Chicago. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Forrest passes to Whiteside. Here's Forrest. Shoots a three. DeRozan with the rebound. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Vucevic has got ten points now just in this quarter. Clarkson against Levine. Clarkson with the ball. Just five on the clock. Whiteside sets the pick for Clarkson. Shoots over Vucevic. And it's off the back rim. No good. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Jazz lead by one. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. A chance now to hear Coach Quinn Snyder talking to his team moments ago in the huddle. Let's just keep playing with the same intensity, okay? On misses, you guys really run in space. Anyone can bring it. Well, he's trying to get them to maintain that edge right now. And, and solid advice from Coach Snyder. Wanting his squad to remain engaged. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure packed basketball. Taking a look at the Jazz. O'Neal is out there with Bogdanovich. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. And it's Rudy Gobert. And it's Mitchell in at the point. Now here's Levine. Tries the spin move. The pass to Caruso. Levine gets to DeRozan. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. To take the lead. And he connects with the jumper. And the Bulls lead by one. Nice read on that play by DeRozan. Came off the pick and took what the defense gave him. Clarkson on the wing. Number 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Levine for three, and the Bulls another three. Well, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Mitchell outside. Clarkson. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got six assists in the game. Knocked loose. Stolen by Mitchell. One on one here. Shoots from 12. Offensive rebound. And slam dunk by Gobert. The long reach of Rudy Gobert really comes in handy when he's patrolling the offensive glass. There's the pick. Inside. And Levine throws it down. Just a terrific all-around scoring effort from him. I mean, it's because of that that they're even in this game. Mitchell passes to O'Neal. Knocks down the three ball. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Outside, Levine. He's off on that one. The Jazz go the other way with it. Here's Mitchell. 
It's hauled in by the Bulls. DeRozan's got four rebounds now tonight. Passes it to Johnson. Over Bogdanovich. It's deflected. Great awareness by Bogdanovich. Working hard to come up with the block. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Here's Caruso. Covered by Mitchell. Outside Levine. Three pointer. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. O'Neal kicks to Mitchell. Pass to Clarkson from the arc. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Driving inside. Here's Caruso. Gobert with the block. This is why shooters always have an eye out for Rudy. And if you don't, this could be the result. Here's Caruso. Jazz leading by five. Mitchell dishes to Clarkson. Takes it from ten. That one rolling around and rims out. Now Chicago has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. It's tipped. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Joe Ingles is checked in for Utah. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. Takes it in, kicks it out to Johnson. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's DeRozan. He can't hit that time. Gobert with the defensive effort. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. And the shot goes in. And the Jazz lead by seven. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Bean passes to Johnson. Now here's Vucevic. Outside Levine. Levine double team to the inside. It's stolen by Gobert. Feeds to Ingles. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Stolen by Levine. O'Neal against DeRozan. Over O'Neal. And again, no good by Chicago. And here are the Jazz now. They're on a 13-5 run here. 
to go bare. Down low. Bogdanovich looking around. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Fantastic at staying in control. Like seeing Bogdanovich work through contact on that play. from the line since halftime. Bulls trail by 10. Caruso, the pass to Vucevic. Gobert with the ball. Bogdanovich inside. He's guarded by Johnson. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Throw good, Bogdanovich. Chicago's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Caruso. Outside DeRozan. Here's Levine. Releases from the wing and drills it. And that's 38 points for Zach Levine. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Mitchell kicks to Ingles. To the middle. Here's Bogdanovich. And Bogdanovich throws it down. I like that play by Joe Ingles. Doesn't have anything he wants. Keeps the ball moving. Throw good, Bogdanovich. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. They trail by 14. Inside. There's Levine. Good work defensively by Engel. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Five to shoot. From deep. It's all in by the Bulls. Vucevic has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Caruso, the pass to DeRozan. Trying to find Vucevic. Gets it to him. Over Bogdanovic. And he gets. Vucevic has got 23 points. And the key for Vucevic is remaining aggressive. And when he does that, this guy can dominate. Ingles against Levine. And there's the pass to Mitchell. From past the arc, a shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Mitchell's got 11 in the second half. Deflects the pass. Ingles against Levine and taken away by Johnson. The feed now to DeRozan. Utah with the rebound. Mitchell outside. Here's O'Neal and the dunk by O'Neal. 
This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. In the corner, it's Levine. Ucevic setting the pick for Levine. Over Gobert. Gobert with the block. To the paint. Here's Bogdanovich. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Bogdanovich has got 13 points in just this quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Caruso kicks to Levine. And the Bulls with another miss. Jazz leading by 19. Here's Mitchell. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic is Levine with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Levine passes to Johnson. And then Johnson with the jam. Sky high. One of his advantages as a undersized four. Utah has gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Pass to Mitchell. For the three. The rebound by Johnson. Chicago has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. On the wing, Levine. Covered by Mitchell. Levine against O'Neal. Here's Vucevic. And slam dunk by Vucevic. And using every bit of that large frame for the exclamation point. Vucevic, a force around the rim. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Bogdanovich. It's stolen by Vucevic. Levine double team. The wide open look here for DeRozan. A three-pointer is right on target. And that's when he's at his best. DeRozan confident and in rhythm with the jumper. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea just give themselves a little bit of a break. Now, here's Mitchell. He's tightly guarded. Just five to shoot. And he drives in. And here's Bogdanovich for three. It's off, but still a great shooting night. Six of eight from the field in the game. And DeRozan kicks to Caruso. Bulls moving the ball around. And it's Vucevic missing. Utah leading by 12. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. And the layup is good. Mitchell's got five points in the quarter. This guy just gets buckets. Donovan understands his team expects him to score inside. Levine double team. DeRozan a screen on O'Neal. Johnson finds DeRozan. Out to the right wing. Here's Caruso. Defended by Gobert. Caruso no good. The Jazz shooting in the fourth has been tremendous. 59%. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for Utah. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box score, there were some great numbers for Donovan Mitchell. And how many times throughout the course of the evening did he make a momentum-changing play? I thought his relentlessness really keyed their success. Nice shot by Gobert. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. And got to do more than that to stop Vucevic. So adept at fending off those types of challenges. Mitchell against Ball. Mitchell outside. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports.
as New Balance presents our player of the game, Rudy Gobert. 